Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at one of the top of the line, best price point values and qualities toy haulers in the entire RV industry. This is a 2023 Dutchman Voltage model 4225 with the optional full body paint that looks fan freaking tastic. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first and the inside features then. We're giving you three things we love about the Voltage and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again today, I am super excited to be taking a look at this Voltage, one of my favorite toy haulers in the RV industry. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! How's it going? It's going good guys, I'm so excited to take a look at this Voltage. Like you said, it's uh, Voltage is a higher end and I absolutely love this full body paint job. Yes! It looks so good. So, um, plus the inside looks great as well. So I can't wait to show you guys. And well, it's higher end, but it's not like it's too high. Correct, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just really, It's that really good high. balance. Model is 4225 voltage. The actual tip, tip length is 46 feet 8 inches. The dry weight is 16,040 pounds. And the hitch weight is 3,645 pounds. Well, do you hear something? Yeah. It's like some airplanes or something. They said another Chinese balloon. Right. Will, that is a heavy hitch weight. You it definitely is. need a one ton truck for this. Right. Right up front here, painted fiberglass front cap, standard, full body paint's the optional, right? Right yep. here, we do have a nice mirror to help back up to your current Rotoflex hitch. And you do have a three year structural warranty from Dutchman. And if this looks familiar and this looks familiar, Dutchman is a subsidiary of Keystone. And then coming on down here, Will, we do have an Onan 5500 EVAP generator very nice batteries right there this does have the that lithium ion battery right uh probably since the lights are on they'll, they'll leave the lights on for you yep right over here we got some propane six point hydraulic auto leveling frameless windows throughout the whole fifth wheel very nice yes i you love that a slide topper right there and a power awning with led lights very nice right here we do have a nice sideways singing stand latch door a little bit of storage yep definitely not much yep but it is what it is it gets the job done coming on down here we do have these very nice solid steps yeah okay first you got these uh push button push button uh door handles very nice and then right here is the solid steps cool nice big grab handle to get in and everything nice coming on down we got speakers on the outside here well, this is a huge triple axle toy hauler. And then look at these tires. Well, they're high specs. Oracles. I love those. They are. I can't see an ST 235-80 R16 with the Moride CRE 3000 suspension. Nice. Coming on down, we do have more uh, another power awning with LED lights. Okay. Um, the six-point hydraulic auto leveling. Fold-up steps for the garage area. I hate that, but at least it is the aluminum tread steps, Right, Will. right, I agree. Thank you, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Look how much cleaner and better these look, you know? They look great. Fantastic. Coming around the back, Sir William. Ramp door with the legs. Okay? Cool. Uh, the Moride Zero-G ramp door, and it makes a patio area. Not only that, you do have the backup, um, backup camera there on this one, which I don't know if that's standard. I don't think it I is. I don't think so. You know what, I can tell you. And this does have the Thule awning. This unit was in the show. It was because it's got it the, the slide, slide toppers too. Yep. yep. Right over here, we have a ladder to get up on the roof. Fuel station over here. Right over here is your uh, fuel plug. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Black tank Pump. flush right here. Here's where you're dumping your tank. Okay. A gray tank right there. Okay. And then a water heater right here. 50 amp service. Then look at this wet bay, potable water fill, potable, potable. Key TV, black tank, outdoor shower, water filtration, black tank flush. Auto leveling controls there. Prep for tire link right there. Okay. And then a little bit more propane. Nice. Well, well, the outside of the voltage looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. 
check out the inside. Okay. All right, we will start up front in this bedroom, and I forgot to turn the lights on. Bedroom up here, bathroom in the middle. Coming down. Wow, great it's, living space. It's a beautiful toy hauler. Kitchen. This is almost. Oh, that's weird, bro. And garage oh, no in the back. Dinette. No dinette. No dinette. Okay. But a lot of times toy haulers don't have dinettes. Right, right. But I'm all like, bro, this feels exactly like yours. Yeah. But your bathroom, you know, I'm all like, where's this connected? Yeah. So the no dinette, the garage area. Cool. Well, well, before we show everybody the inside, let's give a quick shout out to Lippert. Are you looking to make your mark on the RV industry? Well, look no further than Lippert Scouts. As a member of the Lippert Scouts community, you'll have your opportunity to share feedback on products and services that you've used during your adventures. Your insight will be used to drive innovation and development for years to come. You could be the key to unlocking the next big thing in RV. But Lippert Scouts isn't just about making a difference. It's also about connecting fellow RVers and campers in an awesome community, guys. Swap tips, hacks, your favorite camping stories, and make new friends that have that same passion for the outdoors as you do. And if you need support, no problem. There's Lippert customer care team members on that app, always available and willing to help. Guys, join Lippert Scouts today. It's completely free. You can get to it on Facebook, or now they have the app. You can get it for Apple and Android. You can get the full experience at your fingertips. Don't wait. Be a part of this great community that is really shaping the future of RV. Join Lippert Scouts today. Perfect. Well, do you want to start in the garage where we always do it a toy hauler? Sure. No, we're starting right here. Okay. I'm mixing it up. You know why? Why? America, that's why. Okay. Start with this awesome dinette. Not a dying dinette. <laughs> Entertainment center, you mean? Yes, sir. We have storage right over there. It's gonna be the same on the other side as well. Holy Storage all the way around. Guacamole, get that tall stuff for us, okay. bro. Get it for us, Will. Oh yeah, look at that. Would you look at that? There you go. Nice big TV right there, insignia. Then right there, you got a DVD player, okay? Looks great. You got more storage here, a nice fireplace. Yeah. And then more storage here. Okay. Fantastic. And then we have, whoa, not one. Not, not two. two but three sets of theater seats. This is fantastic. It's on the battery, so. Yeah, they're electric. Got your cup holders here. Well, theater seat, theater seat, theater seat. I thought I needed some theater seats. You know who sings that? Mm -mm. Nobody, I made that song. Okay. It is the Thomas Paine collection. And then look over here. Look at the stitching on the theater seat. Yeah, it looks like a higher end theater seat. Right, it's very, very nice. Okay, is it more comfortable or is I, it about the same? I wouldn't say it's less comfortable. I mean, it's about the same, okay. you know what I'm saying? These do close, open, low, oh, there's lumbar support. Oh. And USB. Okay. Cup holders in all of them. And then check that out. You got theater seats over there as well. Nice. Nice windows all the way around. And we do have Privacy blinds right there. Awesome. Very nice. Will, show us this awesome kitchen. Okay. We'll start right over here. This is actually a really, really good kitchen for a toy hauler, don't you it think? It really is, yeah. I mean, for any RV, truthfully. Right. Tons of storage up top, and this is all soft clothes. Nice window on your non-camping side. You have this peninsula here, spray or extension faucet there, and a big single bowl sink right there. Okay. Underneath, you got storage here here. Hey! That's a $156 trash sure can. Is. And then you got storage right here. Storage in these drawers. Wow. Oh, and that was your, um, right here you got your paint touch up there. Okay, okay. So that's good. And then behind me, storage all the way around the microwave. Very nice. Did I already? I think I already said everything soft closed, which is really nice. Yes, sir. Nice big high point microwave. Great backsplash there. I really like this. It looks nice. That is truthfully, I mean, I want to call Andrea. She would love that. Yeah. Nice solid surface countertops. And this I absolutely love. Four burner insignia cooktop. I was not at all 
expecting that in here with a nice big oven. Nice oh, big oven. oh. <laughs> turkey tested. Turkey approved. Yes, sir. <laughs> Over here, you have the nice Norcold two-way refrigerator. Yes, sir. My guess is that you can option this for um, a residential because this is the uh, two-way, so it works off of electric or propane. Okay. And wrapping it up, nice big pantry right here. Very, very nice. Yeah, it is. Very cool. Okay. All right, well, show that nice loft area up there. Okay. Nice loft, pretty big area up there. It will. Do you know what time it is? It's now time for the MSRP. Burr, burr, burr. Will, MSRP of this unit here is right here. I actually don't know what it is. It's okay. not on our website yet. Just but came in? Missed, well, but it was at the show, so oh, I don't... maybe not. I mean, I somebody, somebody must be slacking at the Tampa store. I guess so. But you know who's not slacking? Jen. Because the MSRP is right there. Yeah. She found out. And guess what else she found out? The sale price. Right here. Bing! sale price of this unit and will if somebody wants to get that sale price or possibly an even better sale price than that all you guys got to do is go to generalrv.com slash matt's cash i've made it easy for you i've linked it in the youtube description below i've linked it on mattsrvreviews.com or you can call 844-969-4033 please reach out to us any way you want because we have a team here dedicated to helping people get the absolute best price in america that's right Show us this garage. Doing the garage next? Yes, sir. This is, we're getting all backwards because you're supposed to do this. I know, it's nice. I want you to do it. Okay, we have an AC dedicated to the garage. Do we know what size this garage is? It looks like a 13 foot garage. Yeah, it's pretty big. That's my guess. Over here, again, this patio does drop down. Yes. Or this ramp drops down to make a ramp, but also a patio. Yes. Um, and then you do have the all season doors right there. Here, well, I'm not good at this. Okay. You, you, you gotta push that. Yeah, and I'm not good at that. Right. So, and, and I'm good at this, well, because yeah. I've been staying under here for yeah. a, a good minute and a half. Right. So what's coming on right now is that the dinette is coming down, but the dinette also makes into a um, lower bunk bed. <laughs> and How then, low can you go? Right. And so you, you keep it there. So what these also do is, this flips up, it's a bed, but it's also a dinette area okay and a sofa area you know what i'm saying right it works really well and i love how it goes all the way up you know what i'm saying yep. you got a door right there a tv over here with storage above there i'll get that storage right there tv you, your lights and all that are behind the tv and then more storage there and then right here we do have a mirrored medicine cabinet okay nice little sink i mess with those sinks and then right over here, porcelain toilet. But you need the door closed, right, to do the test? I mean, I was just going to poop with the whole garage. Seeing me? That Can you be... unlatch it? I don't think anybody would really appreciate that. Okay, did the door shut? There you go. Well. Yeah. I can't pass it. Okay. But I promise you now, I will not fail it. Okay. It is actually very doable for is doable. It? Good. Yes, sir. It really isn't I that it was bad. It's gonna be a little bit tighter. And then you got the D rings right here. Yes. And so, well, education one on one. Yeah. Do you know why they don't make the bathroom like this? Do you know why they have the fold up door? Yeah, so that you can fit more in there. Like garage. fit more in the garage. Yep. Yes, sir. All right. Well, let's check out that shower. Okay. Toy dollar bathrooms get cut short a little bit, so. Nice Ooh. buttons right here. I don't think this one will, though. Wow. It's an encore. Of course it is. It's a huge encore with a nice skylight. Perfect the placement spot. there. Yep, good teak seat. I love this, this definitely passes. Bing! That's a shower test seal of approval. That's right. And well, we had some issues in that bath right there. I know. But this is what I call one of the primest of pooping positions. This is a prime pooping position. Bing! There very nice right over here we have some nice drawers very nice very nice and then look at this live wood right here i'm loving right. that nice little sink over here and then here we have the nice uh, <laughs> mirrored medicine cabinet and oh liquefy nice the absolute best rv toilet treatment in the rv industry that's right guys this is our company liquid performs better than tablets and and powders but liquid's a pain in the butt that's why we came up with an idea 
of finding a bottle, it's called a Bixler bottle, that has a one ounce pre-measuring spout. All you do is squeeze in one ounce, and then you pour it in and it's just like that. That's it. Your waste will liquefy, so it goes down your sewer hose easier and your RV's not gonna smell like Taco Tuesday. Mm -hmm. It's gonna smell like a light scent of oranges. That's right. How you doing? Well, go in that bathroom. Okay. What do we got going on in here in the master bedroom? Yeah, so in the master bedroom, we got an Insignia TV already installed, power little nightstand, a couple drawers okay. here. And did we mention you can get to the bathroom from the bedroom or the hallway? Ah, very nice. Yep. Nice window here. Just the night shades there. Yes, right over here. Well, we do have a nice king size bed. Yes. Lights. Windows on both sides. Nice looking headboard. Little little storages right there. Nothing much. I do see some power right here. I don't see any on this side, do you? You know what it could be though? What's that? could be in here just like oh. right inside the closet still yeah it's not I ideal i need my power and then storage right there there's your table underneath there okay yeah no power on that side yep i don't see it in here even honestly it just is what it is no it's not in there that's interesting okay and then we got this closet area yeah so over here i think this is the washer dryers no it's not no this is storage side the middle is washer dryer okay side by side if you want it right there you do have some drawers in the bottom all the way across yes sir and then more storage on that side there as well very nice yeah well well that's it that's the review now before everybody leaves it's time to give people three things we love about this unit three things we just don't like about it will what do we do first three things we dislike yes okay okay i'm gonna go first okay i'm going over here okay because I can almost bet you something. Yeah. Yep, lack of power outlets. Oh, uh, yep. Just like your unit. Mm hmm Will's unit doesn't have a lot of power outlets either. And then to combo that with the bed power outlets, right. I mean, that's a big deal. We need our power. I agree. We didn't stop the power. That's number one. Will, dislike number two. Dislike. dislike number two. Talk to me. So that mm. full body paint job? Yeah. Oh, is it? I thought you said, did you see it? Oh. I was like... I was about to say, you just like the full body paint? What are you doing? All right. No, no, no. I have something as a backup, but... You're going to have to say it, because I don't have very many dislikes. Yeah. Okay, it's these floor vents. Okay. We can combo that really... with the toe kickers right here. Yeah, there you go. Um, especially this one, actually, because it comes out so far. Yeah. But, and I hate this one here. You're gonna, gonna be standing on that. You're gonna be standing on this. And then imagine dropping like a pee. Yeah, you're never getting that. Yeah, and it's that gonna pee. mold in your air vent. Right, and then it's yeah. blowing on you. Yeah. And then it's a heated pee. Nothing's right. worse than a heated, moldy, moldy. pee. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing at all. That's number two. And then number third. Oh, I, I'm doing it. Okay. The storage up front on the it's, outside. Yeah. It yeah. was tiny. It is tiny. I mean, I've had more in a teardrop. Mm -hmm. Again, it's okay because you have the garage area. But again, guys, when you watch the show and we give you guys these crappy dislikes, it's because it's overall it's a, it's good a thing, great, really. great RV. Yeah. That's three things we don't like about it. Well, now it's time for three things we love about this. Yep. I'm going to go first. Okay. Oh, I have another dislike. Okay. I have a real dislike. Was it on the outside? I no, feel like there was inside. something. No. It's this. Three freaking theater seats. Yeah, no. When they, like, you can't use them all at one time. Right. Those two you couldn't use at the same time. Right. These you can, but you're but totally you're blocking, blocking away. away. You know what I'm saying? And it's not even like an ours where you can squeeze by. No. Like, that's totally going to block it. Yeah. Great. So that's four things we dislike about it. Now it's time for three things we love about it. Well, I will go first. Okay. For a toy hauler, this living room is mm -hmm. fan freaking tastic. I love all the seats. The fact that you're getting three seats in here. Yeah. You don't need a dinette. Give no. me the three seats. And to have all this entertainment center. I love that. Yeah. That's like number one. Will, like number two? For me, it's going to be that outside full body paint. Yes, sir. They killed it with that paint job. I, I love full body paint when they do a good job like that. Yeah. And um, they, they knocked it out of the And park. it didn't raise the price that ridiculous. Yeah. That's number two. And then, well, number three, obviously, we got to end with this kitchen. Oh, yeah. Are we in a toy hauler? Or are we in a luxury fifth wheel with a garage? Right, you know what that's what it feels like, honestly. So many times you're making sacrifices on the living space just so you can have that mm -hmm. garage area. Not with the voltage or not with the 4225. Yep. I think they knocked it out of the freaking park. Yep. 
Well, well, that's it. That's the <clears> review. <throat> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in getting this unit or any RV, go to generalrv.com slash matscast. I've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You can click RV sales help on mattsrvreviews.com or you can call 844-969-4033. Reach out to us. Tell them you watch Matt's RV reviews. And once you tell them that, our team's going to get you the absolute best price in America. That's right. What say you? Yeah, guys, thank you all so much for watching. And I love what they do with this toy hauler, making it very fifth wheel like in this area, but then at just adding the garage onto the back. Exactly. They do a great job. Exactly. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like and three things you dislike about it. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you, absolutely, yes, everybody, so much you. for watching. And we'll, we'll see you next time. time.